Good, guten Morgen, uh, good morning, bonjour. <laughs> bonjour is easier for me to say. So I'm here today to talk to you about precision misconnectivity, elevate your fiber to the home uh, project with accurate geospatial data. So you might wonder what is fiber to the home? Uh, so, oh, I can change the slide by myself. So first, just to introduce myself, I started in that industry a long time ago. I was a young man, mid older now. I did quite a few experiences to see the history of scanning, but I'm not here to talk about me. It was just to make a, a quick introduction, uh, basically. So fiber to the home. Why someone from Trimble is talking about fiber to the home, you might wonder. So first of all, what is fiber to the home? It's, uh, it refers to the use of fiber optic cable to deliver broadband internet uh, directly to your home, to your office. And you know, like today, we have more and more need to use the cloud to exchange data, uh, even to stream Netflix or Prime Zone or Prime, sorry, Amazon or whatever things, or exchange data between all of us. If you do mobile mapping, you collect a lot of data. We need like fiber. Like for example, in Germany, they do a lot of development because fiber optics is not so much developed here compared to other countries like in Europe, for example. And it replaces the copper. Uh, infrastructure such as telephone or coaxial cable, as you can see here. So we spent quite a lot of time to make that graphics. It's not just like a pretty picture that looks nice like a cartoon. It's actually a story. Uh, if you can see, I cannot really see, but the tree from the first phase of planning a network to building a network to make the operation and maintenance, you can see the trees, they become a bit bigger too. The poles start to tilt a little bit with a history after storms or flooding and all those things. So, and you can see a little um, uh, cloud on top uh, to exchange the data between the field to the office and back to the field. So I will try to explain the different phases of such a network uh, to you. Because there are like several needs. And we, the title was Precision Misconnectivity. So first of all, it's kind of nice for all of us to see the fiber to the home, they have like a, an association, they have like a handbook, it's like a, my new Bible to learn about how they do things. And you can see they have like a, a person, like a surveyor with an instrument on a tripod for the first phase of planning, so to collect some data, then operating and maintenance. And then what do they need? They need to make a choice if they want to lay the fiber underground by making trenches or on poles, and in some countries, it's even on facade. So a lot of time, people use like uh, OpenStreetMap or Google Maps to try to use to lay uh, the design. But the accuracy is not the best. And is it like uh, up to date as well? It could be very old uh, images, for example. So that's why they start to look more and more at geospatial sensors and data to collect more accurate data. Because it's important for them to know if the trench will be in private property or public property. So accuracy is key. Uh, same for the poles. They need to know the location of the poles, who is the owner of the pole, all those things. They need all that information. So that's why I'm not here to talk about products, but just to give you an idea, like when they start to do like a, a new country, they need to do like first like a large scale reality. So mobile mapping, that's the title of that session to talk about mobile mapping. So mobile mapping is used like widely, and then in some smaller areas, they can use like scanners. And once with mobile mapping, after collecting all the data, they send the data, people will analyze all this data, and then they can send some crew in the field to analyze to see if it's correct or not. So they can use some GNSS solution, for example, in that case. So just to give you like a little bit of uh, all the things that can be used, but first of all, mobile mapping, to collect large area. No. I don't know, I'll try to change the slide. It might come shortly. I need fiber, maybe that's the internet that's missing here. Uh, I cannot go back. I don't know if you can help me in the back to change the slide up. Oh, thank you very much. So as we said, we talk about hardware to collect the data, but a big piece of that puzzle is to analyze, process the data, and then exchange, share the data. So 
That's why the cloud, uh, Trimble Connect, is a key part of the solution to be able to share the data, analyze, and send back to the people in the field. And also, when we talk with people doing fiber to the home, they don't know our software very well. They have their own dedicated software. So SDK, APIs are also key for the success of all this. It's not just collecting data. It's just one piece of the puzzle. They need after to analyze, process, exchange all this. So just a good look at the planning, what they have to do first. They have to do like the pre-survey of the route to see which size they can go. Uh, they need to do some analysis of the nature or extent of the work. One characteristic is that sand, is that asphalt, uh, the location, accessibility, all those things as well. The tree next to pole, so that's the planning phase. And for this, I, tr I hope that video will play. So they can use like a type of system, so mobile mapping, to go and drive. Uh, could be like in a city, could be the countryside as well. And so just launch like a to collect data, so point cloud and images at the same time, obviously. So that's the first phase to do like the pre-survey of the route. And in that case, that's a survey of the route, so uh, more accurate than using like Google Maps, for example, obviously, and up to date, which is also key for them to have data up to date. So after this, they get that point cloud and images at the same time. And from this, they can extract, analyze. They can import the design also to check if it will fit or not, um, to see which side of the road will be the cheapest to dig, for example, if it's the sand or the asphalt. That's a good example, uh, for example. And then send the data to some GIS. So of course, if you want to see more about this, you can come and see us on the Trimble booth. Uh, the MX publisher is what we discussed about the cloud as well, is to be able to, to share the data inside and outside the company. Because if you just keep your data for yourself, it's no use. It has to be shared as well. So that's a perfect tool to share the data, but also to make some integration via plugins. People could use like Esri or QGIS or GeoStruck, for example, or Bentley. There was someone from Bentley just before, Autodesk, to do all that analysis. The design phase is what they call a walk out. So they do a walk out of the design. They need to make sure the design will fit in the existing. And for this, they use, of course, mobile mapping in the office, but they have all the data collected, import the, the design, and see if it will fit or not. But also, they can do some field survey verification. And you can see that little surveyor is holding an instrument, some augmented reality. Uh, it's also recommended by the people doing fiber to use augmented reality for this. And we have what we call side vision. It's a Trimble side vision to so high accuracy outdoor. So again, accuracy is key also for them to know the location or exact location. And then they can also use PDF straight in the field because in that industry, people use a lot of PDF also. So you can have a look of what's hidden, so what's below the ground, could be cables. It's also important for them to know the location of existing utilities. Could be water, gas, electricity, for example, before they, they place the fiber. They don't want to, to break anything. See the future, so once, if they use some poles, they can see if the poles will fit into the forest, or if they have to get rid, unfortunately, of trees, or, or maybe move the design to save the trees, for example. That's also key. And see the progress once they install start, they can see and follow straight in the field. So they hold the device. They can see the design with the, with the existing. So once they do the building phase, they need to do the recording of all the data or all the things that has been installed, do some GIS field update as well, and do some inspection and record modification as well. So we, we found that the solution, the Trimble Catalyst solution, was the best for them because they don't need to be expert in surveying. They don't need to, be, to know anything about like a coordinate system if they want to connect to a VRS or to a base station. With that solution, they can just grab an antenna, connect, and collect. We have something called Trimble App Correction 
that will find the nearest base station automatically, send you all the corrections straight in the field. It's what they do. And then for the mobile app, they can use our own app, or they can use like Esri or QGIS or their own solution, which is also key, because as an interface, they know. For operate and maintain, they have to know the precise as built. They need to do some inspection as well. Like that pole is a bit tilted, quite a lot tilted. The vegetation grows also and can affect the, the lines, the power lines, and uh, all type of elements. We see more and more, unfortunately, like flooding or storms that can damage and destroy things. So they need to know location to be able to rebuild all this. So that's some example. That's it's not a very nice example here on the left. That's from my street where I live. It was a little storm. There were some branches on top of, of cables. Some of them got damaged and collapsed in my street. And what we, what we could do is to collect the data using mobile mapping or a scanner on a tripod. And then we can upload that data to Trimble Connect. Uh, you can see here. You can see the point cloud in Trimble Connect straight away. You can make some to-do with precise location and send that information to the people in the field. They know the location. They know what they have to do exactly. So that saves a lot of time instead of sending a crew somewhere and voila, try to do your best. So that's something very, very nice, actually. Another example is a, a power line that got damaged after a storm. So mobile mapping here will be like overkill. Um, so it's better to like a, a scanner a bit faster to collect that data and then check the orientation of all the antennas and elements here. And then the last slide to be on time. Uh, almost the last slide, so it's again me in my street. Uh, there was like after that storm, like some poles that collapsed. I could go and collect the location with Catalyst, so very small antenna, collect very precisely the location, then the replacement, all those things. And then we can again upload to Trimble Connect. That's our cloud solution. Or we can also like upload to other uh, cloud solution, actually. And then people can do all the analysis about what, they, what happened and send people uh, where they need to be. And the last, sorry, that the last slide is still on time, about vegetation manager. It's a solution we have in Trimble. So once, uh, you know, like the tree grew, and you can see on top, uh, we, after you do like some mobile mapping survey, you get that LAZ file, and we can make some simulation if a tree is falling down, if it will eat the pole or the wires, what is the distance for safety, and same for the clearance between the ground and the lower cable. So we can do all that analysis, and sometimes, unfortunately, uh, people cut trees. So it depends if you love trees, but uh, unfortunately, people cut trees. Uh, could be also before a storm. A tree could collapse before a storm, so maybe it's safer to cut it before that storm, obviously. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, please come and see me. There is many other people with that shirt and a big booth uh, on all 27, but thank you for your attention. Thank you.